Hello and welcome to this data analysis tutorial focusing on SQL with me, James from Matador Software. Um, the, the aim of this is to be the first part and potentially a, a 10 part series, um, which we can define later, but the aim will be to take you from a, from a SQL SQL novice to someone who can, who can operate SQL very well and proficiently even within an enterprise environment. So it's quite confusing. Um, you know, you hear the terms MySQL, SQL, T-SQL, um, SQL Server, <clears throat> and the aim of this first session is just to put everything into, into perspective and break everything down, the concepts, and from there we'll look at practical examples in the next video. So SQL itself stands for Structured Query Language, and it is the gold standard for creating, manipulating, and accessing databases. Now, SQL is the, the language to retrieve and query databases, so it's governed by an international standard. Um, <clears throat> so any variations on this need, need to comply to that standard. It's an essential skill for data analysts, so if you watch my videos and you're working in Power BI, well, in an enterprise environment, you're likely going to be required to have knowledge of SQL purely because databases operate and we, we query against these and we need to know how to how to make our models proficient, we need to look at performance and we need to be able to get data to Power BI or visualization tools in the most um, straightforward and best practices. It was initially developed in the early 1970s at IBM and was called SQL. Structured English Query Language. Now, this is probably why you hear a lot of people pronouncing SQL as SQL. And, and I'll refer to, to SQL as SQL going forward as well. So it becomes a bit more complex when we look at relational databases and relational database management systems. So we've gone from SQL to now we have PostgreSQL, we have MySQL, Microsoft SQL Server. Now, what we need to know is SQL communicates with databases to get information. So a relational database is usually what we work with, and it's just easy to think of it as table tabular data with columns and rows. But in order to use our SQL, we need a database management system, an RDBMS. And this allows us to create, update, manipulate, and query these relational databases. So, for example, if we want an analogy of how SQL works across the board, we can think of the filing cabinet as this database management system. The, the documents are stored in the filing cabinet. This can be our, our sort of relational database. And in order to retrieve this information, we use SQL, which is our actual language, our query language that speaks to these different databases and da da held within database management systems. And it retrieves the documents or the information that we need. That's the, uh, let's think of that as the automated piece that gets the information. So important to remember when we have these variations of SQL, SQL is the, the query language. That's how we get the information. Um, databases are held within tabular relational databases. So the, the data itself is held within a, a relational database. And then on top of these, we have systems that host our relational databases. Now it gets a bit confusing because they sometimes have SQL in the title, like MySQL or SQL Server, but that's just the, the open source and the Microsoft versions that host these databases. So we will primarily be learning SQL, which is universal, and that's how we get the actual data. Now, the database management system, we'll be looking at SQL Server. And lastly, just to add a bit more information on, um, what we will use is something called SQL Server Management Studio. And in the next video, I'll go over how we download SQL Server and this, this development environment, or let's just think of it as sort of like a code editor or guided user interface. And basically, this is just the Microsoft, um, let's say, front end or face that we use to interact with SQL Server, which of course is the um, database management system. 
And then we use SQL or Microsoft's proprietary, their own version, T-SQL, Transact SQL, which is just a slight variation on SQL. And we use that to, to query the information and, and get powerful insights. Now, it's important to note there are a few intricacies with T-SQL, Transact SQL, but it's still very aligned to standard SQL. It still has to meet these specifications, this um, governance of standards. And we're, we're going to focus on SQL Server and Management Studio because if you work in an enterprise, it's most likely Microsoft is heavily used, Excel, Power BI. And we want to, we want to use the same suite of tools because there's benefits there with automation and things. So next video, we'll look at downloading these things and some practical examples. Um, and as usual, if you like this content and it's helped you out understand SQL more, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe and share. Thank you.